Hey guys, how's it going? I've been a data scientist in tech for a little over a year now. And while that's not a very long time, I have had the amazing opportunity of working with very, very skilled data scientists, people who are far more senior than me. I've had the chance to shadow and to learn from them and also be mentored by them. And recently I've also started mentoring more junior data scientists than myself as well. This had really got me thinking about the role of a data scientist. I believe in a growth mindset, which means that I think your talent and your skills are not static. If you want to become a data scientist, you can work hard and you can work towards that goal and become one. However, with that being said, I've really been reflecting and thinking about what is the role of a data scientist and also kind of wondering if people actually want to become a data scientist. Like, do you want to become a data scientist because you really want to become a data scientist? Or do you want to become a data scientist because the pay is good? Um, you get to work in tech. It was named the sexiest job in like two years ago or something like that. So in this video, I want to talk about why you should not become a data scientist. Number one is if you're not motivated to learn a hybrid blend of computer science, statistics, and business. Data science is a very interdisciplinary field. You have the computer science part, you have the statistics part, and you have the business part at the minimum. So I see a lot of people who start off in computer science or business or statistics, and maybe you have like a combination of those two, but it's very rare for someone just to, you know, come out of school and just have all three immediately which means that you're gonna have to take what you have in that background that you have and probably expand to the other two. For me specifically, in terms of traditional training, I come from a computer science background, although I have a little bit of statistic knowledge because I did a science pharmacology undergraduate, but my major training was in computer science, which meant that I picked up on a lot of statistics and especially on the business side a lot during my role. People have asked me, I come from like X background, can I be a data scientist? And the answer is always yes, you can be a data scientist. However, I did notice that if you come from a more technical background, say from computer science or from statistics and math, it's generally easier for you to pick up the business part of it, the, the non-technical portions of it. Of course, I have also seen people who come from a business background and they're amazing data scientists right now, some of my coworkers are, but it did usually take longer for them and it was more effort for them to go and then learn the computer science um, to learn the coding components as well as the math components. If you're someone who's very interested in one of these fields and just not really interested in picking up the other two, for example, then data science may not be the best career for you. Truth be told, learning all of these other interdisciplinary fields isn't super easy. You know, it's not something that you just spend a weekend on. It's actually a very gradual, continuous progress and you need to be motivated to do so and also disciplined to do so and filling in the gaps. And it often entails asking really dumb questions sometimes for me because business was the part that I had the least training in going into meetings that were business related and asking like really dumb questions like what does this acronym mean for example it also means admitting your mistakes you know when you write code that produces a result that is incorrect, then owning up to that mistake, saying I'm very sorry, and then fixing it. Um, and then next time, making sure you, that you don't do it again. And finally, also just picking up these skill sets constantly, that your mindset isn't like, okay, I'm only gonna learn like these new things today and tomorrow, and then spend the rest of the week not learning anything. It's, it's always like a gradual process of picking up more and more bits from here and there, learning from other people, learning from your mentors, both formally and informally. If any of these things sound kind of not up your alley, then becoming a data scientist may not be what you actually want. Second reason for why you should not become a data scientist is if you don't feel comfortable being scrappy. So what do I mean by scrappy? It means not being super focused on wanting to produce an amazing product. It means doing whatever it takes using whatever tools that you need in order to accomplish the goal. Here's a scenario that has come up for me many times. Someone comes up to me and goes like, Tina, we need to do this super duper important three and we need it to be done in three days. I'm just like, there's no way I can do this thing in three days if I do it, you know, like properly write all of like the correct code and, you know, just get everything like perfectly tested, making sure that everything is functional. There's, there's there's no way, right? So what I have to do is I have to prioritize. I'm like, okay, I gotta do this thing in three days. What's the best way for me to do this so that I can cover most of the things that this person needs me to do? Um, how can I be as accurate as I possibly can? You know, not at not accidentally make any mistakes that could cost the company a lot of money. And that usually means being really scrappy and putting together a bunch of different combinations of tools. It could be like some SQL code that's often packaged around like some Python code. Also just doing some math calculations by hand sometimes and just inputting that in. And the end is just scraping together all of these things and producing an MVP or a minimal viable product 
or whatever it is that needs to be done. It's imprecise, it's not perfect. The code sometimes hurts my soul, but it gets the job done. And I understand that as a data scientist, that is oftentimes what I'm gonna be doing. Because data scientists generally have such a diverse skill set in business statistics and computer science, it also means that I often take on the role of roles that are not data science. For example, if a, there's a bunch of data that's there that's not clean and we need to write pipelines about it, then I become a data engineer. Sometimes you need a UI component where you need a front end, then you kind of become a mini software engineer. Sometimes we need to present a strategy to leadership to convince them that this is the right approach. Then you kind of become a hybrid business person slash product manager. I've personally done all of these things in addition to what my core role is as a data scientist. If you're someone that prefers to focus on a single project and doing things in a very specific way, then data science may not be the best job for you. Number three is if you don't like learning new things constantly. Remember what I was saying earlier, how you have to learn computer science, you gotta learn business and you learn statistics and math. Maybe you're like, all right, I'm gonna go learn all these things and then I'm gonna become a data scientist and everything will be wonderful, right? Wrong, 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 wrong. Data science in itself is such a new field and it's progressing so quickly and just morphing in front of our eyes. Two years ago, what data scientists are doing is really different from what data scientists are doing today. And data scientists of tomorrow is gonna be really different from what we're doing today. Without even exaggerating, it feels like every week there's a new tool or a new way of doing things that's coming out and as a data scientist it's your job to solve problems efficiently and effectively and what that means is that you need to take that initiative to keep upskilling yourself learning these new tools that are coming out first of all actually figuring out if these tools are worth learning about because there's way too many things to learn about if you try to learn everything so figuring out what's actually important and then going and actually upskilling yourself to become better and just keeping up with that industry as a whole to survive you really need to be constantly learning and from my own observations of much better and more senior data scientists than myself i notice that they really do two things the first one is that they're always taking on projects that are outside their comfort zone and it's like that accountability because it forces you to go and learn new tools in order to expand your scope and you become better. And the second part is that they consciously put aside time to learn new technologies, even if it doesn't have to do with a current project that they're working on, because they just want to expand their toolkit. At some point, they may be able to use this new skill set to solve a problem better or faster or solve a problem that they previously were not able to do. So just that constant learning that's going to be going on throughout your career is not something that you're interested in doing and it doesn't really resonate with you, then you probably shouldn't become a data scientist. Fourth reason why you shouldn't become a data scientist is if you don't embrace the scientific method. Data scientist. Notice that second word, scientist. It's actually very, very crucial that the word scientist is there. And that's because data scientists are first and foremost scientists. And a scientist is someone that follows the scientific method. And what that entails is first doing some research to figure out what your problem, what your question is, and then forming a hypothesis. And then the next step is taking your hypothesis and conducting some experiments. We're creating some models. We're in some way trying to answer your hypothesis to see if it's correct or not. And then from these results, you would then draw some conclusions or you know, decide that you need to work more on it. And then ultimately present those findings, which hopefully will be able to influence strategy or improve the company in some fashion and in some way. In a nutshell, hypothesis-driven decision-making. Data scientists are the equivalent of harbingers of truth, I like to call that. Harbinger is like a really weird word, but it's like the, you are the person that kind of has to hold people accountable to the truth, uh, the truth of what the current state of affairs actually are. When you make decisions or when you make recommendations, it has to be grounded in the truth. You're using the tools of computer science, business, and statistics in order to inform your decision, in order to build something like forecast or models. So you can't just be like, uh, YOLO, uh, I think we should do this because my spidey senses are tingling, where like I feel it in my soul. Like in your decisions and your recommendations and models you build have to be grounded in data. They have to be grounded in truth. With that being said though, I'm not saying that data science isn't a creative field because it definitely is. You know, science is always gonna be half art, half science, but you do need to be someone that really respects the truth. You really are uh, building upon the truth and you embrace that because if you don't keep everyone honest, nobody will. All right, fifth reason for why you should not become a data scientist is if you don't like marketing your own work. 
I know, I know the word marketing. It sounds, it sounds terrible, right? Like ideally, and what I thought it would be like would be like I would do this really cool analysis, and then it's gonna be so awesome, and I'm gonna show it to people, and they're gonna automatically think it's amazing, and they're gonna go and implement it. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sadly, that doesn't happen. Even if you have an amazing analysis, you have an amazing thing that you discover or amazing model that you built, you actually have to self advocate and do some marketing in order to get people to use these insights that you found out, to actually use the model that you built. So what you need to do is, of course, do all the amazing data science stuff. Go build your models, go do your forecast, go and figure out your strategic insights. But then after you do that, you also have to work on presentation. You have to work on understanding what the business needs, how to go to someone and be like, this thing that I made is going to make this company better. This thing that I made is going to help you achieve your goals because of X, Y, Z reasons. Or else if they don't understand why what you did is valuable, they're not going to use it. So whatever it is that you did is never actually going to see the day of light. This is this is what I found. The really strong data scientists that I've seen, they not only do amazing data science, but they're also really good speakers, really good communicators through a lot of different forms, through communication, verbal communication, through written communication, um, just through like being able to network with people, understand what their issues are, and just having a really deep understanding of the product and the space that they're working in to make sure that the work that they're doing is extremely valuable to that space. So if you're someone that prefers to just really focus on the technical components and just let the work speak for itself, data science may not be the best field for you. All right, we've come to the end of this video. I just want to make a final disclaimer by saying that this, of course, is just my experiences. I am 100% sure that if you work as a data scientist in different companies, it's going to be very, very different, especially because data science is such a new field. You're going to have different varieties or flavors of data science in a lot of different industries. And in some industries, it's going to be vastly different from what I've described. All that I can say is that this has been my experience as a data scientist, specifically working in a big tech company. So do take what I said with a grain of salt. But I do think these different reasons for why you, you may not want to be a data scientist are non obvious things that people don't really think about because data science is such a hyped up field that has good pay, you know, that has a lot of media coverage. I do think a lot of people come into this field expecting something and not actually realizing what data science is, which makes them not very happy as a data scientist. And they ultimately may have, you know, done data science for a couple of years and then transition to another role. So in order to save you that, if you are considering being a data scientist, do think about that. Are these things that resonate with you? Do any of these stand out as something that you just really are not interested in? And if so, you know, really deeply consider if you want to be a data scientist, if you actually want to do this or not. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this has been a helpful video for you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream.